The taxman operating from this building works with a doctrine called progressive taxation. Now this is supposed to transfer income from the rich to the poor. That sounds fair, doesn't it? But I have discovered that progressive taxes are a cover for a cruel hoax on people with low incomes. This is how the scam works. The people who live in these apartments are tenants. They pay rent to their landlords and taxes to the government. People who rent their homes pay taxes to fund the schools, hospitals, the police, the railway systems, public transport. They pay for what they receive, and that's how it should be. But what happens in Knightsbridge? Let's go and find out. The homes in this street in Knightsbridge, near the famous Harrods store, are each worth millions of pounds. The people who live in them are the top income earners in Britain. Over their lifetime, they pay on average about one and a quarter of a million pound in taxes. The people who rent their homes tend to be in the lowest income bands. Over their working lives, they pay on average about a quarter of a million pound in taxes. The rich pay five times more than the poor in taxes. That's fair, isn't it? I explain in my book, Ricardo's Law, that progressive taxes actually have the opposite effect. The rich people who live in these homes complain that they pay a lot in taxes, and they do pay a great deal of money to the government, but the government pays it all back to them. How do they do this? Governments spend our taxes on infrastructure, such as schools and hospitals, and that raises the productivity of the economy. Now, because of the way the market economy works, those gains are crystallized as land values, and these then surface as windfalls or capital gains in the property market. Those capital gains are not shared out equally among all of us. Taxpayers who rent their homes, for example, are excluded. The windfalls are pocketed by people who own land. The rise in property values more than offsets the taxes they pay into the public purse. So who then pays for the public services that the rich people use? The families on the lowest incomes.